I want to help people accomplish their dreams and goals in life. A passion for caring. I want to help find a cure for heart disease. A desire to help. I want families to have the support they need during trying times. It's what makes Americans special and keeps our country strong. I want to help the homeless with both charity and hope. I want to make sure that nobody goes to bed hungry. I want to find a cure for diabetes. I want to make sure that all animals have a good home. Now you have the chance to contribute every single hour. I want to continue being an advocate for the disabled. Of every single day. I want to give hope to people who are diagnosed with diseases without cures. By donating to the Combined Federal Campaign. And I do. I do. I do. I do. I do too. For federal employees and military personnel, the Combined Federal Campaign is the best way to support the causes that make a difference. The CFC is a collaborative, cost-efficient program that provides you with an opportunity to improve the quality of life in your community, your country, and your world. By choosing to contribute to the CFC, you make it possible for great things to happen. My name's Kelsey McGloon. I'm 13 years old. I love basketball, I love drama, and play with my friends. I've played piano since first grade. <laughs> Sometimes it doesn't really show, but well. Kelsey has uh, been burdened with a handicap, a cerebral palsy, but she hasn't let it slow her down one iota. It's given her extra impetus to, to really go the extra mile. And she's real tired at the end of the extra mile, but she, she gets there and she finishes. A lot of people, they don't really understand what cerebral palsy is. And cerebral palsy basically is my muscles are tighter than other people's muscles. And to explain to some of my friends when they didn't get it, I used rubber bands. And I explained to them that their muscles were the loose rubber bands, the thinner ones because they could stretch them better. And mine is like a thicker rubber band which is harder to stretch. It makes me run slower or sometimes my hands get really tense and sometimes they get caught. She wants to run, she wants to play baseball, she wants to play basketball. She seems to be interested in politics. I either want to be a public speaker, a senator, or the president of the United States. The uh, combined federal campaign and their institutions that they support in the area have been, uh, I think, a catalyst for her development and for dealing with her disability. And they have set up camps in which Kelsey has participated in. It was very helpful for me to be in camps that people had the same thing that I did. When I was younger, I always thought that I was the only one because I never had met anybody that had it. The first week of the camp, she actually went as a participant. And then the second week, I went to volunteer. It really opened her eyes, I think, to know that even with her disability, she can help others. And she was really touched by that. I feel bad for those people who have it more than I do, and I think that's not, I always don't think that's fair, even though I don't think that it's fair that I have it, but I try to help other people who are more serious. It's like anything in life. If it's hard, it's really worth something, and you accomplish it, and that's what she's done. And, and I think she gives a lot of inspiration to her classmates, her teachers, and us as well. The CFC is one of the great experiences in the world. Because it shows how the government workers themselves give back. My name is William White Jr. I've been a CFC donor since 1992. It's a painless way to help out in the community. And as far as the federal government, it is uh, probably the best way. I donate to the CFC every year because it helps. I think it's important for all of us that are blessed to have good jobs to share with people who are in need. I'm Paul Hoffman and I'm the Deputy Assistant Secretary for Fish, Wildlife and Parks. Any one of us at any point in time is at risk for needing these services. Jim Sloan, I work for the United States Postal Service. I'm Al Washington. I'm a retired Marine Colonel. I'm Captain Shamika Berry. I'm Paul Mendelson. Amy Downing. Diane Thomas, and I work for the Center for Medicare and Medicaid Services. Captain Ernest T. Rees from the United States Army. Oh! But the process itself is so easy. You just fill out the pledge card. It has spaces where you can designate specific charities you want to give to. I donate through payroll deduction. Or you can give by check, or you can give cash. Just look in the brochure. Every organization that's listed in there touches your life in some manner. You can donate to agencies that do everything from environmental support to community planning, 
to world hunger. Obviously, my passion is animals. And you give a little every payday, and over a year it adds up. It's whatever your passion is or whatever your heart leads you to. First thing I would do if somebody asked me about my opinion to the CFC or why they should donate was show them a picture of my son. Um, because if it weren't for the CFC, he probably wouldn't be here. CFC was able to save my home where I was unable to work and unable to earn a salary. It gave my family a place to stay during the time that I was hospitalized. You think when you have great health insurance and you have a good job that uh, you don't need these agencies. Boy, are you wrong. I wouldn't have had a service dog if it wasn't for the CFC. He has basically changed my life. By having Elias, <laughs> it means that my husband can deploy at any time, at a moment's notice. It all comes back to you, it does. It makes you feel good when you give to other people and help. CFC on a, some terms, smaller scale is a reflection of our nation's ability to be generous and our nation's choice to give to others. I think what makes America great is the generosity of its citizens. It's our willingness to help people in need and to provide opportunities, whether the times are good or the times are bad. Americans tend to pull together in time of need. One way to pull together is by giving to CFC. America is special because people unselfishly help their neighbors. People donating, people volunteering. We have a special resolve about ourselves. During time of crises, we tend to bind and mend like no other. I think one of the most unique things about America is our brotherhood. We help each other. We don't need to be asked for like a family. If your neighbor is in need, you help your neighbor. And we help neighbors we've never even met. And it's unique and it's warm and it's wonderful. For more information, visit cfctoday.org.